Now, the first phase of PG&E's power shutoffs began overnight, impacting 513,000 customers living in 22 counties. Dina Kupfer continues our team coverage this morning. She is live in Vacaville with more. Good morning, Dina. Good morning to you, Halisa. Well, I have talked to a number of people here in Vacaville who told me they are frustrated, but some say they understand. As you can see, no wind here in Vacaville, but I want to show you this intersection. This is Alamo at Butcher Road. This is a main thoroughfare for people going to and from Travis Air Force Base from Interstate 80. Lights are out here at this intersection, people treating this as a four way stop. But while I was here, I already saw someone running through that intersection, and that definitely can cause accidents. And so just be aware if you do come to an intersection, where lights are not working, treat it as a four way stop. There's another person right there, went all the way through. You can see that. And so they are not using this the way that they need to. So something that we've got to remind drivers about this morning. The other thing, I talked to a woman named Sherry Benjamin. She is a Vacaville resident. Her power went off at midnight. She has a son. She said, no Xbox. You're going to school. You got to find anything you want to do electronically when you get there because the Travis Unified School District and the Vacaville Unified School District are open today. This gas station behind me, empty. No gas flowing. These pumps require electricity. There is none of that going through. And so people coming in and out of this gas station all morning, trying to fill up their tank, not able to do it. I talked to a woman who's trying to get to Auburn this morning, and I had to tell her another option for gas this morning because this is not going to be one. I also spoke to someone who said, I was just coming to this Starbucks to grab a cup of coffee. Doesn't even live in this area. Just wanted a cup of Joe. This Starbucks here is also closed. And so even if you don't live in an area where the power shutoffs have impacted you, if if you're heading to work, if you're heading to a meeting, this is impacting 34 counties across the northern part of our state, unprecedented for PG&E. And again, a lot of these residents are going to have to deal with this for the next possibly three on up to five days. They've got to find a different way to go about their daily activities, and Vacaville is not going to be excluded in that number. Back to you. All right, Dina Cut for live for us this morning. Thank you.